Hello, we are Hex and Clad. We are a black metal influenced folk metal band from Canada. We'd like to thank Metal Rules for premiering our video for Hoonan and Moonan. And um, we're glad to be here today speaking to you. Um, one of the questions that we've been asked a lot is where the band name came from. Uh, so why don't you do the honors? Yeah, it didn't come from either of us, actually. It came from uh, the, the man that founded the band, Michael Grund. And he, uh, he had a corporate job and uh, a house and all the, all the things that uh, modern life brings with it, living in a city. And he, uh, he gave that all up and moved to 55 acres of forest uh, up in northern Ontario. And uh, as he was uh, sitting well, sitting laying in a hammock around a fire, playing his guitar, writing some of the very songs that we recorded, he uh, he felt uh, the beauty of the forest and was glad that he had escaped uh, the curse of uh, of this of city life. And that was where the concept of hex came up. And as, as I just said, he was surrounded by the beauty of the forest where he was previously surrounded by a city. That's where the clad or covered in came from. So we pieced it together and Hex and Clad was born. So yeah, we've already put out one album, Spirit of the Stone. And uh, we're here promoting our second full length album, uh, which is called Heathen Heart. And it comes out on July 23rd through CDN Records. And uh, we're, you know, we're, we're really proud of this album. Um, we've already put out one official video, which was for the title track, which is Heathen Heart, of course. And uh, we've put out the, uh, the lyric video, which is Hoonin and Moonin, which are uh, the uh, Odin's Ravens. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it should be a little bit obvious what the, uh, you know, what the lyrics are gonna be about. They are mostly focused um, around my beliefs uh, as a as a practicing heathen, um, but they are they're also not they're not preachy. Uh, they are not um, telling people what to believe. They're just uh, explorations of my own belief uh, in current times. Well, we actually have a, a song, "A Thousand Paths to Wisdom," that actually reinforces that. A bit. Everyone has their own path, and there's many paths to take. Yeah, and this is just me saying what mine is, and saying, you know, you're going to find your own, but, you know, here's a little a little piece of mine uh, in case there's those who uh, who follow the same path that I do. So that's, that's what the lyrics are generally about. Obviously, each song is going to be completely different, um, but that's kind of the, uh, the overall general arc. Um, and a lot of it is based around Hagalaz, the rune Hagalaz, because that is basically uh, creation through destruction. And that's basically the heathen's heart is, is that. It, 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 it's destruction and chaos and uh, the creation that comes from it. It's a, very, uh, it's a very diverse album. There's a lot in there for people to love. There's probably a lot in there for the haters to hate too. Um, there are there are there are sort of uplifting melodies, a lot of harmonies, uh, a lot of a lot of black metal parts. There's dark. There's some dark acoustics. Um, just generally a, a, a lot to uh, a lot for people to take in, and it was uh, it was an interesting experience putting it together because uh, Michael, the founder, and he pretty much wrote the first album um, in its entirety, music and lyrics. Um, I wrote one guitar solo and uh, an acoustic song. But uh, for this album, everybody, Mike was, I'd still say Mike was the main songwriter, but Timothy took over as, as the, the lyricist. And we, we wrote a lot of the songs together. And by together, I mean whoever happened to be there sometimes with the full band sometimes with parts of the band but we, we were actually able to, to bring in a lot of different influences and it was a it was a really interesting creative process for us I, I had never actually written 
quite that way. It usually, usually uh, most of the bands I played with a song was brought in, but we, we actually sat there and built some of them from the ground up. Some things were brought in with riffs, but there were no sacred cows. Nothing was, you know, everything was uh, was up uh, to be uh, to be made the best it could be. And, and uh, again, we're pretty proud of what we put together. Yeah, yeah, it's a very varied album. I think uh, it'll have a little bit of something for everyone. Um, now, another question we've been asked a lot is the album cover, because it is a very unique album cover. Um, and uh, it's actually done by uh, Black Forest Forge. Um, and we saw, uh, he did a lot of, he does a lot of shields and uh, woodwork. Um, and we just thought that this would be the perfect person to work on our new album. It's very organic. Um, and so I contacted him and uh, I gave him some, some general sketches and uh, you know and I gave him uh, the, the lyrics and uh, I explained to him kind of um, the idea that I had um, and I really wanted him to to understand the album and then make a album cover that represented what the lyrics were about and what he came up with was pretty much exactly what we were wanting uh, in fact it's it's better than anything i could have even considered or thought of why don't you bring that up a little bit closer so they can and yeah it's actually done on wood it, it's a wood burned image and that's what you'll be getting if uh, if and when you purchase our album uh it's a 16 page booklet and that is the album cover that comes with it. And it's it's beautiful, you know. Uh, yeah, it, it's a beautiful album cover. We're really proud of it, and I think it represents the music and the lyrics really well. Now, something else that we've been asked a lot is uh, what drives our passion to create music. This is a really hard one because you know what. Why do you do anything? We're born to create music. It's what we do. You know, it's who we are. I couldn't think of not making music. It's you know, it's the way I choose to express myself and my. Uh, you know, it's how we explore our, our ourselves and our environment and our, our lives. And metal is probably the only way that we know how to do that. <laughs> Uh, we were also asked if there was any new albums that, that caught our ears. Well, I'm a big fan of the new Elderwind, uh, Fires. That's a great album. That one, uh, I've got it coming in the mail right now, but I've already uh, got the download and listened to it. Great album. Um, I've, been, I've been listening to uh, Uwada a fair bit. Um, it's called The Dying Sun? Yeah, so I, I know that's not their newest one, but it, uh, it is pretty good. and. Another uh, album I've been listening to, a band I've been listening to a lot, even though it's far from new, but it's, it was new to me, was Gallo Braid. Um, you know, a bit of Agaloc worship there, I think, but my, but my, my favorite era of Agaloc. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, I, I, that, gets a, that gets a lot of my time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I listen to new music all the time, but it's normally like one song here, one song there. Uh, I don't normally listen to full albums in their entirety, but um, yeah, that one really got me. <laughs> with, uh, with, with Spotify playlists and things like that, it's just yep. so easy to become a shuffle listener. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it really is. And that's a lot of it is is variety, because a lot of bands have every song sounding very similar, and uh, with shorter attention spans, yeah, you want things that are really varied, which is why you'll really like our new album because every song is very different even though there's a thread that goes all the way through it uh, every song is very different and that makes it easy to listen to the whole thing in its an entirety which for whatever reason is hard to find these days so yeah that's that's one thing I mean I've also been listening to a lot of uh, Primordial recently uh, again uh, I've obviously, I've always listened to them, but uh, I've been listening to The Gathering Wilderness a lot, uh, and that's just a, one of the best albums I've ever heard. So there's that one too. Um, our local metal scene 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, it's still like we're, we're, we're uh, well, Tim lives in and I live next to probably the, the biggest city in Canada. And yep. uh, the metal scene is, uh, is interesting. It's, uh, you'd think with a population that large that there would be so many different types of bands, but there's, there's not really that many black metal bands. There's not really many folk metal bands. Yeah, it's... Uh... There's, there's no shortage of bands. There's a, there's a lot of death metal and certainly a lot of core, core type bands. But uh, the big challenge that we're we're facing, as I'm sure almost you know many people in the world are facing, is that the a lot of the clubs and, and venues that we, we would play or, or go to see shows at, we're already kind of living hand to mouth, and, and uh, the pandemic came along and delivered a crushing blow. Yeah. So it's uh, again you know Hadala's rebirth through destruction. Um, our hope is that uh, a lot of these uh, venues will, you know, there's condos being put where many of them are, but metal always seems to find a way to, to rise up and uh, from the ashes. From the ashes. So that's uh, we're we're uh, we're looking forward to seeing, you know, who the who the if some old players that will come back with clubs and maybe some new players taking a crack at some stuff. Yeah, there's there's people here. You know, there's people here to listen to it. There's just not a lot of places that are to play <laughs> or uh, promoters like. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens post pandemic. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so we'll be around. So, future that's plans. All that matters. Future plans for us. Future plans for us. You know, we'd like to we'd like to get out and play some shows. We're uh, you know we're looking at songs for the next album. And uh, it's summer here, so in Canada. And so for the for the for the, for the few months that we we get a we get a summer where we it's uh, it's a good time for us to get out into the forest and uh, get get into a lake or just camping, fishing, that kind of stuff. And that's where a lot of our inspiration comes from. So you know that that tides us over for the winter months when we're uh, typically writing new music. You gotta have to live as much as you can in the short period of summer that we've got, and then hold that over for the rest of the year. Yeah, you can still get out there in winter, but it's it's not it's not uh, you don't have quite the same level of freedoms as you do when uh, when it's summer. Um, final thing I think we were asked is like, why does metal rule? probably the toughest question <laughs> yeah, so far. That, that, is, that is definitely the toughest question. Why does it rule? Because we can't live without it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a part of who we are. I mean, it, you know, there is no other sound that, uh, that makes sense to us. Yeah. There's no better way to express aggression than through metal. So that's what we do. <laughs> it's, it's catharsis. Over 40 years ago, when I was a teenager, my father told me that I was going through a phase and that I'd grow out of it. I proved him wrong. <laughs> yeah, we've been around. <laughs> but we're still here. So, yeah, you know, metals, you, you kind of metal for life. You know, at least, you know. At least we are. At least we are. <laughs> yeah, look, I don't think I don't think we'll ever probably you know I don't think we'll ever stop listening to metal or stop making metal for that for that matter. I mean that's just part of who we are. You know I'm sure most of you are the same way. So you know you understand, you get it. Well, so thanks to Metal Rules for having us. Thank you for premiering our lyric video, Hoonan and Moonan. We greatly appreciate it. And thank you to everyone that uh, takes the time to uh, listen to our new album, listen to any of the songs, and even watch uh, this video. Hell yeah. Awesome. Hails. Hails.